talk. Oh, the day I break these chains, I'm bound for the life of the simple things. I just want to start off here real quick, letting you guys all know that here in the next day or so, I'm going to put out three unboxing videos right in a row. I'm probably going to release them on the same day that two of them are going to be giveaways and then I'm going to have a third giveaway that's going to be going on here real soon. Before I get to that last question that everybody's been wanting the answer to you, I'm going to go ahead here and first tell you guys about some good news. So I did have my MRI and it did come back clean. I was really nervous about it. I get nervous about every single MRI uh, and that's really because I, I had one that basically where I had relapsed after I thought I was, you know, out of the woods and uh, it was really was disappointing. So there's that feeling that always comes back every time it's time to get one of the MRIs. And I let this one be a little too far along and I'm just really glad that it came back clean. I just thought I'd go ahead and let you know what I'd been up to since I disappeared from YouTube. So primarily I'd just been working. I told you I'd gotten sick. That was pretty much most of the month of December, but I had been doing the petitioning thing over there in San Diego, which is a way to make really good money, especially if you're already used to sales and you don't have any problems with rejection. I have to admit, like that kind of built up on me and started bothering me, but I did do pretty darn good for somebody that doesn't regularly work in sales. I limited the number of hours much more than I could have. I could have worked a lot more hours if I'd been more comfortable with with all the rejection. People would get really rude and some downright mean. and that can be hard to deal with on a daily basis, especially when it's not really a good thing to get in banters back and forth with people ever, but especially not in that sort of environment. And I know some people that actually do the petitioning for a living. They travel around uh, to different states doing the petitioning. There was a guy that was making, you know, three to four grand a uh, turn in which there's about two turn ins a week you know give or take depending if there was a holiday that interrupted it like on Thanksgiving and things like that but they're generally speaking there's two turn ins a week and this guy was crushing it there was only a few weeks that it really has an opportunity like that when a lot of these people that really want their their uh, referendum on the ballot, they start competing a little and bumping up the price that they're paying for signatures. So it can be really good for those that are petitioning. Me, my best week, I made $2,200 in a week, which was awesome. I didn't do that every week or anything like that, but it, it was great. It helped me be able to pay for some things. Uh, it helped me get my MRI. It helped me get some doc pay for some doctor's appointments and stuff. So that was fantastic. Now to go ahead and talk to you guys about uh, what the heck is with the RV, right, that you saw in the picture. And what's that RV that I'm sitting in, right? So around the holiday times, a little bit before, but around the holidays, Carolina and I started uh, talking again on the phone and stuff. And, you know, I, I, I love her. I, I really do. I love her. And she had noted that she hadn't sold the RV. She was still in Phoenix and uh, that she wanted us to get back together again and spent the Christmas holiday together. I drove from San Diego out to Phoenix and, and we hung out with each other for that holiday. And then I went back to San Diego. Then on New Year's Eve, Carolina went ahead and drove out to San Diego and hung out with me for New Year's Eve. I went back to Phoenix and we started uh, seeing how it goes with us in the RV, doing the RV thing again together. There's a lot of things before I can get on the road. There's a lot of things that have to be taken care of. 
I'll start discussing those a little bit later with you guys. Want to go and get a new style of uh, contacts that have come out that are supposed to be more they're supposed to be at least more comfortable at minimum so that I can wear the contacts longer than now. I kind of limited on how many hours I can actually use my contacts and without those contacts my visions about 2400 in my left eye and about 2100 to a little worse in my right eye so you know it's it's pretty bad without them in I pretty much put them in by not by sight by touch so anyways these these new contacts are scleral, so they're really big. They're like this big, and they actually sit onto the white part of my eye. So there's gonna be less pain associated with wearing them for longer periods. There's people saying that they, they actually can help stabilize the vision decline. So that's, that's like the biggest reason why I wanna go to them just just the fact there's any chance of that at all would be awesome. And then obviously I want to be able to wear the contacts longer because as far as I'm concerned, people can argue about what's blind or not blind or anything like that. Me without my contacts for all intents and purposes, I feel absolutely blind. I, it's not that I don't see anything, it's just I can't make out anything. I can't tell who anybody is unless I hear their voice. I can't see things, I can't see landscapes. You know, I, when people go, oh, look how beautiful that is when I don't have my contacts in, I, I have to disappointingly tell them I can't see it, right? So, so you know, there's that. Now that's enough of that and talking about that. I don't really like to talk about it much and I think I've kind of spoken about it with you enough. I said that I had some plans on on making a change in how I'm going to earn my income and everything. I am working a job here in Phoenix right now, but I'm working on a lot of things other than that. I'm working on quite a few developing affiliate marketing relationships with products that I really like and that I would like to test out. And then I'm working on, it's not been going great, but I have had some success so far, but I'm working on developing a discount club. I'm also trying to pick up what I would say is kind of like freelance videography work. And then I have a social media account that should be coming along here shortly. There's some things that they're still trying to work out, moving the company from Australia to here to the United States. I'll be discussing more and more with you as time goes along on what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, but I want to make sure that as I am doing so that, first of all, I don't give some of the less scrupulous people here on YouTube that a lot of us refer to as trolls. I don't give them an opportunity to cause me problems. And you're like, oh, well, why, why, how would they do that? Well, they have caused me problems in the past and they've caused another YouTuber I know specific problems. And I'm not gonna say his name. It's not Mike or Eric, you know, who get the, worst brunt of it. It's actually somebody totally different. And they actually had somebody call into a work camping job and cancel with them when they had every intention to attend and to do that job, which is pretty raw in my opinion. So it left them kind of hanging. I've actually had somebody contact an employer of mine while I was working there and tell them that I was a sex offender, which caused me to be completely treated different the rest of the time that I was doing the job. And also it made it inconvenient having to go through another background check and stuff like that. So not fun stuff that does happen here on YouTube. 
I don't think those are extremely severe situations. I have heard of other niches other than the RV and van sort of stuff and travel sort of niches. I've heard of other YouTubers having much worse things go on to them. I'm thankful that this is the worst that's really happened to me personally. The last thing that I want to talk to you guys about here is some changes on how I'm going to be putting up content, both from suggestions I've heard, talking to other YouTubers, and some of the people that have been talking in the comments here. And so that was a plan to already be spoken about. I already have video recorded for that. I just wanted to thank Anthony, John, Wes, and Jeff, who all were nice enough to go ahead and use the PayPal link and send a little bit something. One, one person said, here's a dollar a video for the last 10 videos, which that was pretty cool. I, it wasn't really the point of the video exactly, but it was nice of you guys. Thank you. I'm going to take equally, you know, the people that participate here on YouTube on the community tab here, the new community tab here on YouTube. I really have always seen YouTube for me as a part of social media. Like I've made so many friends and, and relationships from YouTube here. And uh, I really want to focus on, on having a real aspect, a real community. So I am going to let a lot of the decision making on what kind of video content is going to be here be determined you know half of the way from people that participate in the community tab and the posts that I make there and you can make sure that you get those messages in your uh, YouTube feed by click first clicking on that bell where you go to subscribe and then also after that selecting to get all notifications including the community posts and so the people that are participating there are going to have access to knowledge about any giveaways I'm going to be doing uh, they're going to get to make decisions about the channel the other half basically of you know my audience here on YouTube that are going to be making those decisions and probably making more direct, like even being able to pick specific things that they want to see and, and places they want to see me go is going to be on Patreon. On Patreon, almost real time, right? As quick as I can get stuff edited up and posted. Over there, there's going to be no ads. There won't be any ads on the videos, you know, the, the posts, none of, none of these pop-in ads that, that you see on YouTube. So people will be able to have that content almost real time with no ads over on Patreon. We're on YouTube, it's going to have ads and it's going to be a week delay so YouTube can work their algorithm thing on it. If you guys want to be part of of the process of me being able to get back to what I love and if you guys want to see content produced on a regular basis and if you guys want to have a uh, play a role in the decisions on what kind of content is here you know if you're not interested in, in helping out on patreon uh, that's okay but if you want to be part of the uh, community and really make decisions here, I need you to make sure you turn on the uh, notifications and participate in that new community tab that YouTube has. And I'll go ahead and make a video about it and how to use it in the future. And I'll probably, I'll try to do that pretty quick. I'm going to be having a couple of different giveaways coming down the pipe. And I got a really cool new lifestyle product that I'm going to talk to you guys all about. And if you want to know when that stuff is coming, go ahead and check out the community tab or you'll be the first one to see that sort of stuff always if you are, are helping out on Patreon. Get out there, connect with people, live your big story, and make sure you do something every single day to reduce world suck. Peace, it's guys. Been a long day without you, my friend.
And I tell you all about it when I see you again We come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all